have an extra. Of course, all of us share the loyalty and pride to the company that we all feel, and it's our privilege to share what for a year is his hall. Can you please welcome Semester Haberesha, Chris Powell. to celebrate 50 wonderful years at Elstree. I first met your inspirational head, Tom Taylor, in the mid-1960s when my father was a governor at Elstree Boys. I was invited to play cricket against the school by Fraser Bird, who was a senior, rather almost a senior, past master of the company. On my first visit to the school, I made a hundred. I was on the for that. On my second visit to the school, the second occasion I was asked, I made naught. I was never asked again. <laughs> the standards are very high at Elf Street. The stacks are very high for Elf Street's words. Anyway, this has been a, a wonderful dinner. We've had some fine wines, some terrific company, and uh, uh, it is a great honor to be here and to represent the company. I did ask my host how long I should go on for about seven or eight minutes, I was told. Having seen the very impressive menu, the guest list, and the very large number of speeches, I remarked it was a little difficult to know where to begin. After some thought, he said, probably around the five-minute mark would be ideal. <laughs> but how is the Habashas company? It is, I can report, in, in root health, very busy, particularly in the field of education. Our portfolio has grown substantially in recent years by three large schools, all state academies. So what does it currently look like as portfolio? There are 10 schools. There are almost 10,000 students. Annual fee income is approaching 100 million pounds. Assets invested, mainly property, at replacement values, probably 300 million. It is a very significant responsibility, and it is a very varied portfolio. There are the independents, the two LC schools with 2,750 students between them. Independent day schools, both the top 10 schools in the country. There are two independent schools at Monmouth, 1,500 students between them. Independent, mainly day, with some boarding. There is Adams Grammar School, a state grammar school, selective school, which has boarding too, which is interesting. 800 students there in Shropshire. And at Bunbury, in Cheshire, there are 200 students in a state primary. And then there are the academies. There are 900 students currently at Abraham Derby, our new academy in South Telford, which is associated with others. And at the Ask Federation, which is part of the charity that supports Hell Street, there are 3,750 kids. Hatcham is the lead school. There's Knights, which is a turnaround. And there's Craper, which is a primary with a big secondary bill coming. What is the role of the Habash's company? What do we do? We are the trustees of the charities on which the property sits for all of these schools, or we are the sponsors. So we are, we sit behind all these schools. And what, are, and what is our responsibility there? We appoint the government. And our principal aim is to be excellent in governance. We do a lot, and we plan to do more to support our governments, because they are the added value of the Appalachian Company. We do not run schools, but we do appoint heads, and that is the most important thing that we do. So I'd like to tell you a little bit about the AS Federation of Academies in South London. I thought you would be interested. They are very popular and increasingly successful state schools. They're all massively oversubscribed. Hatcham, 11 applications for every place. Knights, five applications for every place. Craver, five applications for every place. How good are they? Hatcham, of course, has been a, uh, a school with a similar background, actually, to uh, the um, Elstree Boys School. It was a, a grammar school in South London, uh, single sex, uh, boys and girls. 
separately. Um, how good is Hatcham? Well, Hatcham sent eight uh, young people to Oxbridge last year, and it's, 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 its GCSE results are absolutely top in South London. It is a stunning school. What about Knights? Now, Knights, when we took that over six years ago, was the most disastrous school in the country. If you take the simple measure of how many of the students got five A to C GCSEs, which is the simple government measure of success academically, when we took this school over, 8%, 8% of these students got five A to C GCSEs, 8%. And if you took two girls away, two sisters, went down to five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you are talking a seriously damaged school, a seriously damaged community. There were police in the playground to supervise. Like, it was a very, very damaged place, a horrid place. And today, five years later, same kids, same catchment, no selection. 70%, five A to C G C S E. Now, how was that achieved? This is really what the Habilitus Company is taking from all the work we're doing now. How was this done? What you see is a transfer of educational management knowledge. It's how you manage schools, transferred from one successful school and applied in other places. <laughs> Business world, we've done it forever, right? To a great or less success. But in education, this has not been done much. So under Liz Sibwell, who was the principal at Hatcham and became the chief executive of the Federation, she led the application of the principals that were successful at Hatcham two nights. And the first principal at Hatcham, sorry, at Knights, and the first principal at Craigford were both interestingly deputies of hers. So she took her own management team, her deputies, and placed them in positions of responsibility for these other schools. And what did they do? First thing, uniform. We all need a uniform, don't we? That makes us help us know where we belong. Discipline and a consistent supply, a consistent approach to discipline, fundamentally. Single sex teaching. Separate the boys and the girls. Fundamentally important. What do you do elsewhere? Streaming, fundamentally important. What about the staff room? Motivating and actively managing the teaching staff, which is a very polite way of saying getting rid of the ones that don't take them, they get the message. And massive, massive extracurricular activity. Sport, music, art, CCF, everything that you have at L Street, we try to give them down these schools in South London, in South London. House sports, that is all that stuff, all that old fashioned, wonderful education principle being applied. And most important of all, aspiration. Starts at the top. Liz Sibwell wanted these kids to succeed. And she made sure the senior management team wanted the kids to succeed. And they made sure the teachers wanted the kids to, to succeed. And the teachers made sure the kids did succeed. You can do this. You may come from difficult background and all that kind of stuff. Many of them do. Troubles with languages, all sorts of issues. But you can succeed. This wonderful place has been made for you. This is a gift to you. Take advantage of it. Make the most of your opportunity. And become good citizens of this country. Make the most of yourself. And that's what she did. I mean, it is a stunning, stunning process. It's been done at nights, and we're now in the process of doing it at Craigville. And Craigville is different because Craigville is a big primary that we're building. 